Hi everyone, my name is Tamer. I am a graduate student at Columbia uh, University, and I'm excited to be here to present our work on uh, Chardonnay. So for those in the audience who are uh, knowledgeable about uh, distributed transactions, I'd like to start with a brief overview of the main ideas in our work. We start from the observation that modern data center technology now offers low latency uh, RPCs and uh, storage devices with single digit microsecond latencies. A key part of our work is showing that fast RPCs enable st strictly serializable, lock free snapshot uh, queries in a general fashion. That is, without using sp uh, specialized locks, uh, limiting uh, s scalability or weakening the performance or semantics of read write uh, transactions. These advances also uh, mean that bold uh, fundamental assumptions about how to build on disk uh, the database transaction systems no, uh, no longer hold. In particular, we can achieve such low two phase commit latency that it becomes faster than a single SSD IO. Uh, a single new order uh, transaction in the TPCC benchmark has to do 10 reads, but, uh, but only needs to run two phase uh, commit only once. So uh, that means that two phase commit is no uh, longer a major bottleneck. And the new bottleneck is actually loading the transaction uh, data from disk. To tackle this new bottleneck, our key idea is to uh, try and move these IOs that are re required for the uh, transaction reads prior to acquiring any transaction locks. To do so, we leverage our snapshot read mechanism to run the transaction first in a dry run mode. This will cause the read set to be loaded and pinned into RAM before the actual uh, transaction execution. And I will spend the rest of the uh, talk elaborating on uh, these ideas. So large applications need distributed databases for many reasons, such as fault tolerance, high availability, and scalability. Uh, 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 ACID transactions are a powerful abstraction that make uh, programming such distributed uh, databases much easier. We know that on disk DBMSs remain uh, very popular, yet the conventional wisdom is that distributed uh, transactions are slow within such systems. So to see why this is the case, let's discuss the classic uh, approach to implementing the distributed transactions. The database is typically sharded into a number of uh, N shared uh, nothing servers, Two-phase locking is uh, used as the concurrency control uh, mechanism to ensure uh, serializable isolation. And for transactions that touch uh, more than one shard, we, ha we have to run uh, a commit uh, pr protocol such as two-phase commit to ensure uh, atomicity. So why is this slow? Well, executing two-phase commit requires at least two sequential uh, network round trips, uh, as well as two forced uh, log writes. Uh, traditionally, this process had quite high latency, as well as uh, CPU overhead from the TCP IP stack. So this adds to the latency of uh, transactions, but perhaps more crucially, it increases the window of time where uh, transactions could conflict, which uh, increases the chances of deadlocks and uh, uh, transaction aborts. This effect is uh, apparent in uh, locking-based uh, concurrency control, but uh, optimistic concurrency control schemes are not immune and, in fact, usually perform worse under contention. So as a result of this, there's been like many valiant attempts by uh, researchers and uh, uh, industry to avoid using two-phase commit. However, 
unfortunately, each one of these approaches ended up sacrificing something important in the system. For example, providing a restricted programming model or uh, limiting the overall system scalability or only offering weakened isolation and, and consistency semantics. Well, so here's the good news. Actually, like thanks to uh, recent advances in networking and uh, storage technologies with single digit microsecond latencies, two phase commit in the data center no longer has to be slow. In fact, today on public uh, cloud, you, you can go uh, uh, on Azure without using fancy RDMA or, or anything, and you can get two phase commit latency that's under 150 uh, uh, microseconds fully replicated on Paxos. So what happens when we have fast two-phase commit? Well, it turns out that even a single SSD IO takes longer than the full two-phase commit. Therefore, like reading the actual transaction data from this can now uh, dominate the transaction execution time and crucially, time under locks. Let's consider an example. Uh, here we have a client that's running a transaction accessing three keys sequentially. It first reads a hotkey uh, H1. Well, that's a, a hotkey, it's cached, it's read from RAM, everything is fine. Then it tries to read two cold keys, C1 and C2. Well, the RPC is fast, but uh, doing the disk I.O. now takes most of the time. So most of the time that's spent holding the lock on the hotkey H1 is actually just doing uh, disk I.O. As I mentioned earlier, for reference, a single TPCC new order transaction needs to uh, perform 10 reads while it only runs two-phase commit once. Uh, so it is time to design a system without the assumption that two-phase commit is the fundamental bottleneck. And this is the uh, motivation for Chardonnay. Uh, so Chardonnay is a distributed general purpose transactional key value store. Uh, it uh, uses the classic shared, shared nothing architecture with two-phase locking for concurrency control and two-phase commit for distributed uh, transactions while being tailored for single data center uh, deployments with fast two-phase commit. Uh, Chardonnay provides a very general API that supports uh, uh, both point and range reads as well as writes within classical multi-step ACID transactions making it suitable as the storage layer of a full SQL system, for example. And we note that while we still want to keep like the database on commodity SSDs for cost, the relatively small database uh, right ahead log can be stored on such uh, modern low latency uh, uh, storage to provide fast two-phase commit. And like uh, Chardonnay leverages fast data center RPCs for its novel, strictly serializable, lock-free uh, snapshot read protocol. This protocol is important in its own right so that the system can support longer running and uh, and uh, and uh, political style uh, queries without slowing down read write uh, tr transactions. But it also enables our uh, 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 additional uh, techniques to optimize the execution of read write tr uh, transaction further, as we will discuss next. Uh, the lifetime of a re uh, read write transaction in, in Chardonnay is very similar to within a classic shared uh, nothing system. The only like really new thing is this uh, highlighted step to be to read the epoch from the Epoch service, where, where the Epoch service is a key component in Chardonnay. It's a very simple service. It, it only maintains a single mon monotonically increasing counter called the Epoch. Uh, it, it, it exposes only one uh, uh, RPC to its uh, uh, 
client called read latest epoch that returns the last value of the epoch. The epoch is, uh, uh, it gets incremented uh, per periodically by the system, for example, once every 10 uh, milliseconds, not by the, the transactions uh, themselves, and that's what makes maintaining the epoch uh, possible in a distributed and scalable manner. The epoch service uh, serves many crucial functions in the system that we describe in detail in the paper, but among its most important uses is uh, versioning transactions. When a transaction commits in Chardonnay, in parallel to running two-phase commit, it, it reads the epoch and gets uh, versioned into that current uh, value of the epoch. The system maintains the, uh, the overall property that the equivalent uh, serial order of the transactions is the same as uh, uh, running the transaction in uh, epoch order. So a transaction with an epoch E uh, like five uh, logically happens before a transaction in epoch E6. Uh, transactions within the same epoch are ordered by two-phase locking. And this property is really nice. It implies that uh, epoch boundaries are consistent points in the serial order that are suitable for snapshot reads. That means a transaction can get a consistent snapshot as of the beginning of an epoch by observing the uh, rights of all the committed transactions that have a lower epoch. The main challenge is ensuring that this, that the snapshot is complete, meaning that no more transactions will be committing with a lower value of the epoch. We describe the details of how we accomplish this in the paper, but the main idea is rather simple. Uh, snapshot queries may block once, uh, w waiting for uh, r the current holders of uh, write locks to re release them, but they don't need to acquire any locks and uh, th therefore they do not contend with read-write uh, transactions. All right, so now that we have an efficient mechanism to do uh, lock-free snapshot reads, it, it is time to tackle the new contention bottleneck. And we, the way we, we do this is we use the, the uh, snapshot mechanism to execute the, the user's unmodified transaction code first in a dry run mode to let us discover the read and uh, write sets. We can pin and prefetch them to memory prior to the actual uh, execution that actually acquires locks. Uh, in the paper, we also discuss how we can handle s s scans. The key point here is because our snapshot reads are st uh, strongly consistent, we can use the user's unmodified uh, transaction code and do this uh, phase completely transparently. The other useful thing that, that happens is that because we have the read and write sets uh, of the transaction, we can uh, schedule lock acquisition in a way that basically causes no deadlocks and therefore avoid m uh, m most uh, deadlock aborts. And now I'd like to share some of our uh, results. Here we compare Chardonnay uh, as uh, throughput and uh, abort rates uh, versus uh, baseline that uses two-phase locking and fast two-phase commit but with no prefetching and lock ordering. As you can see, under low uh, contention, uh, Chardonnay's techniques can be a bit wasteful since it has to execute the transaction uh, twice, but as the contention increases, Chardonnay's performance only drops modestly and it has zero percent uh, deadlock abort rates versus the baseline which drops uh, dramatically. So in conclusion, new technologies challenge old, uh, old assumptions. We can have an on-disk system that is 
that has it all that is both fast and general. Thank you.